Greetings everyone. As always, I would like to start with a brief disclaimer. These videos are meant to help people learn physics. At times, it's meant to provide helpful hints. And at other times, it's meant to take you through the entire problem with hopefully what is a decent explanation so you can solve many others on your own. I try my best not to show the entire answer in any one screen so that the video remains about learning how to solve the problem and it's not something simple that can be used as a shortcut to cheat or get ahead. If you're putting up with the sound of my voice, clearly you must want to learn this material. Okay, let's get started. So here we have two systems. We have a puck that's rotating on the table and it's frictionless table. And we have a mass that's dangling from a thread Neither of the two objects is slipping in any way. The dangling block is not falling down and the flat puck is not being pulled in completely towards the center. So we have two systems. Let's draw their free body diagrams. And for the puck, you have the puck and there's going to be a tension on the puck, which is very real because of the string attached to it. There's going to be the normal force from the table pushing up on it, there's going to be the force of gravity. And that's that system. The other system is the dangling block and that's going to have a small lowercase m for its mass and over here the puck has a uppercase m for its mass. There's a tension pulling up on the dangling block. There's the force of gravity pulling down on the dangling block. So let's start with this. Uh, sum of all forces in the y direction since the block is not accelerating is zero. So what are all the forces? Let's define up as positive and down as negative. If you do that, then tension plus negative force of gravity equals zero. So tension is basically force of gravity, which in this case, um, the mass m times gravity, which is m times g. Over here, we have tension and since it's going in a circular motion, for circular motion we know the force can be, radial force can be calculated as mv square over r. Here the mass is capital M over r is, radius is capital R. So we have a tension here and we have a tension here and we can say that this tension is the same as this tension. Knowing that, it should be fairly simple to say m g equals m v square over r. Notice the m's are different, lowercase m, uppercase m. Move things around, you get m g r equals capital M v square. Move it around a bit more and you get m g r over capital M equals v square. Move it around a bit more and you get square root of m g r over m. And the quotient wanted us to show that the speed of the puck is given by this formula. And yes, uh, the math that the formula we derived matches what they wanted us to show. So that's about it. Thanks for watching.